Um, hello everyone, this is Shinami, Empty Blank Account. I'm here just making a quick VCV tutorial because people on Uta Forum, this Utau site I keep going, I go to often, people keep asking, how do you make VCVs? How do you owe to them? And really, it's super duper easy. I know loads of the tutorials out there make it overly complex, but really, it's super duper easy. Like, I sort of, I thought I was good at CV, and now I suck at CV compared to VCV, because VCV is so easy. The hardest part about VCV, admittedly, is the recording. That's, that's not easy. Now, here's what we're going to do to start a VCV bank. As you know, you got to record long syllable strings. So let's create the new folder for our new tau. I'll just type in something random. And then something I do to make it easier on me, instead of having to go check a rec list and have to see all the syllable strings, I just steal the otos off of another utau. So how about we steal Ritsus? I recommend either Ritsus or Sorane Ranas. Now where is Ritsu? There it is. Now just go put that in your new folder. And now we need to start, we, we need to record a syllable now. That's something I always do. I just go into Ritsu's bank. Since you're using, since I'm using Ritsu's Oto, what I just do is I record all the syllable strings in order <coughs> in the file, and then fill out the Otos as I go along. Sorry, my voice is really hoarse today. Now, just to make it easy and help you understand it easiest, we'll do this syllable string. <coughs> it's ga ga ku. Oh, well, sorry. Ka ka ku ko ka ko ko. If you can't read it, listen to Ritsu and figure out what it is. Ka ka ku ko ka ko ko. <clears throat> now you don't have to record at the same speed. You can d record it however you want. This is the hardest part of VC of VCV. Just the recording, getting the syllables right, getting them sounding nice not tripping up, not getting little bleeps in the sound, holding it out long enough. <clears throat> and you want to have like a gap at the beginning, so try to line it up with Ritsu's a little bit. So figure out your pitch and how you're going to record it. Ka ka ku ko ka ko ko And then, see all this stuff right here? That's background noise for my house. Now, if you're using Audacity to record like everyone else, you go to Effect, Noise Removal, Get Noise Profile, go back, okay. Now, for the Noise Profile, you have to select an area of the noise. And now, as you can see, it's all clean. Now, admittedly, some of my gaps are a little big, so I'm going to cut off a little bit of that gap. I'm tired. It's the morning. Well... Really, it's the afternoon now, but I woke up late. I'm a teenager. You don't want to have too big of a gap because that makes the lapse between the vowel and the next consonant really, really short. Okay, now you select it, export selection, you go to your voice bank, also uploading Ritsu's thing into it first, that's so you already have the syllable down, so you don't have to go and copy paste, now what did I name it, there we go, oh whoops, wrong kind, remember to save as a wav. Okay. Now open up Utau. Now that you have a sample in there, Utau will have the voice bank. 
I'm assuming you guys know how to use Utel if you're watching a VCV tutorial. So now go select the voice bank. Okay. Now you gotta go find the samples. So like, see, copying Ritsu's already has it all preset. Now we're gonna find the sample. Where's the K section? I always forget where the K section is. That's the J G section. You know what, just to make it easier on myself. But you can find it manually a lot easier. Well. Darn it. Oh well. I'll have to look manually. There we go. Here it is. Now first you need to in initialize the FRQ map. Just don't want it. Not all of them. You know standard do type procedure. VCVs take forever to FRQ. Forever. And ever. Now, just so you know, VCV is just standard. It's really, really standard. It's not like CV where there's like five different styles of doing it. VCV, you do it one way. It's the same for all banks. I'm just showing it along with you so you get it all. I seriously wish they took less time to FRQ. Okay. So now here we go. Now you're going to notice with VCV, when you copy it down, this column is always the same. Well, all four of these columns are always the same. Now this column is the pink. This is the blue at the end. This is the red line, this is the green line. So when you open it up, oh, how convenient. Well, it looks like this. Cut, cut off at the beginning, which is this value that always changes. The pink amount is always the same. And then the minus 600 does something really, really neat. It always makes sure that the end blue cutoff is always 600 away. And then having the consonant and the overlap in the same area creates a system for VCV so that when you have it it automatically like overlaps between notes. Now this will make more sense I guess as I show you how to auto. Now for the first syllable uh, for the first syllable the dash you just want to move this over well I use the S map because it shows um where the consonant and vowel divide. Now you want to put it, if you can't see something in the S map, move this up and down. Now you want to move it to right after the consonant ends and the vowel begins. So that'll be right there. Because as you can see, here's the consonant, then here's the vowel. And so the syllable is you can increase the amount of this minus. I generally like to do minus 700. That creates less stretch. But sometimes you don't record long enough to do that. So let's see if I did. I did. Okay. If it goes beyond here or it starts to go where it fails, um, I'd like decrease the minus number. Now we're going to do the next syllable. I'm going to increase this to 700 already. Now here's where VCV gets cool. So here's, yours might be like all the way over here depending on how fast you recorded and when you recorded. So just drag it over to the syllable combination. It says eh, k. Is this what it is? Eh, k. Yeah. Now you do the same thing. You put the red line. Where the consonant turns into the vowel. Which is here for k. 
Some like ba and stuff are like that are really close. You basically just put that at the beginning. So now your syllable is ka. Now what this does is see so you have the vowel then the consonant. Because of where you put the overlap, the vowels go into each other and you create continuous sounds. That's what VCV is. I really hope this makes a little bit of sense. Move this back a little bit. Now we do that for the next one. Hopefully just by watching this you can get the idea. And sometimes these like little pitch thingies that show where the volume, well, where the tone goes can really help you figure out because often there'll be a change where like there's a vowel to consonant and stuff like that. Okay. Now I'm just going to finish this batch up. Then I'll show you how it works. As you can see, I recorded faster than Ritsu did. And after you do VCV long enough, you sort of get a gist of where everything goes. Okay, so now I'm done otoing that syllable string. As you can see, that was really, really easy. That's all you do. Make sure the green is still within the last consonant, if well, well, the last vowel. If it isn't, that means your gap between the syllables is way too long. Cut it out with audacity. You put the red line right when the consonant ends and goes into the vowel. Green line in the previous vowel. Make sure the pink covers enough of this um, vowel and that the blue at the end does not exit the note. So now we have our syllable strings. Now I'm going to show you how you work it. Now just got to set this up real fast. Now let's say you have this giant syllable string. Let's make these more pleasant notes. Okay, so you have like all these notes in a song. Now to change them, you gotta use a VCV to CV to VCV plugin. So you get this. Normally, like, you'll have to go to, now to adjust into VCV, you know, go to Edit, Region Properties. Normally, these will be gray, this will be gray. Clear, double-click this. Oh, so it's not gray. Then click OK. Then you go up here, click ACPT, P2, P3, ACPT. So now, when you press play, VCV. Now, what is that? Like, you could tell the. That's how it works. Now, generally, it's a lot smoother when the notes are faster. Now, as you could hear in some places, but if this was shorter, for example. Okay, cool, cool.
Well, we had to readjust the SDPM stuff. As you can see, it changed the overlaps. Okay, cool, cool. I don't know, VCV is just really cool. Okay, cool, cool. And then when you get a complete um, bank with everything you have happy, <laughs> it's really complete. I almost don't know what to explain left with it. I don't know, with vowels here, I'll explain vowels real quick. Vowels, as you can see, it's really hard to tell. Well, let's move to a different vowel combination. I just realized I had that in small screen the whole time. I'm sorry. So, here, vowel combination. It's kind of hard to tell where exactly it is. So when you go to S map, it's really blurry always. So you want to get it sort of where there's a small transition. As you can see, there's where those lines die and these lines begin. So you have your oh, vowel transition. Yeah. And then with breaths or ending notes, you put it um right when the note ends and the breath begins. Uh Yep, that's about it. If you want to transform it into a CV bank, all you got to do is take off this standard um, beginning area method of VCVing and just turn it into a CV syllable for the beginning notes. Then you can get a partial CV bank, VCV bank. That's pretty much Otoing VCV bank. If you didn't understand something, just ask. I was probably really unclear. Seriously, it's really, really easy. Just always remember, 450 minus whatever number you want. The standard is 600, but I like 700. 300, 100. That's, that's it. Seriously, you could make your own VCV list by scratch. Now, what I did, for example, was a 7 Mora. There's a 5 Mora, which is less recordings, but, well, like, the syllable, recording, sorry, recordings are less long, but, um... In the end, you have less syllable choices. Like, for example, which bank was it? Momo's VCVs are five mora. There's only five syllables. However, Ritsu's is seven mora, seven syllables. It's the same procedure for all things. 450 minus 600, 300, 100. Just how many record is different. And that's about it to VCVing, seriously. You can make any UST VCV as long as it is in hiragana and you have the CV to VCV plugin. Or you could do it manually, like Q ends with an U, just put an U space, call. Really simple. Okay, so I guess thanks for watching the tutorial. Hope it made sense to you. Hope it cleared up VCVs.